what I'm looking at trying to do is just open this have a look inside see if this is really connected all the time and that's kind of time and did I have errors yesterday and see whether this really can be used as a small piezo speaker I'm not sure not sure what these properties are but let's have a look this is a striker mechanism here right um, the spring and the house on the side cause it to go down and strike and internally I'm not sure yep it's visible there's a pin in there so let's try to take that out let's see what that does slightly better view now um, so there's a metal surface there for this piece to hit um, so yeah that's not sure we'll come on to look inside there's a metal pin here which I managed just to come off it was quite all the way down that hole there um, I assume it's to make contact with this but again Continue not generally and see what that comes out to be. Yeah, a little bit more in. Got all the pieces on the side. Uh, it still looks like really just a metal point to hit really hard onto some kind of piezoelectric material in here. This being the base, being the kind of the one side of the crystal, this to the next side. Um, so it looks like I may have to try to twist this off because this isn't really coming off very easily so maybe grab the plastic and try to twist off the metal hopefully not shatter the crystal right I've managed to get it open interestingly this cap is really screwed on if you look carefully you can see treads uh, there's some epoxy some sort of most likely epoxy set in there and yeah I do not know whether we broke the crystal in half here whether this is one of the pieces well it's definitely a piece the question is whether it's a top piece or whether it was the center piece haven't broken i guess the easiest way to do is to test this back and see if i'm getting the same resistance i got before all right so haven't tested it i'm getting 1.40 nanofarad ah pretty small but it's not that different from the 1.56 i was getting so yeah maybe it's still intact so let's go at it again right so if we look at it now what we're seeing is a little piece of plunger and some sort of barrel and then another barrel and the line the electrical which i would assume is the positive with the red contact is in the middle so i think this is just the mechanical impact element and that looks like the piezo Let's continue and see what we get. Quick view of the little parts that came out. If you look carefully, we see there's four parts. There's the plunger, the mechanical impact device. There's uh, the crystal that's broken into, and then there's the contact. So zooming in a little bit, this is the top of the plunger and the bottom side of the plunger. Top side of the broken off piece of um, piezo and the bottom side of that same small piece top side of the mechanical contact that's to the joint to the red wire the bottom side top side the broken side of the longer piece of piezo and the bottom side of it as so there's much else to see I um, don't know if the crystal will work I know that it's broken but I didn't really expect it to survive that well. It was a highly risky process of openness and piezos are known to be brittle. These are easy to come by so it really was a learning experience and I'll experiment with a, another new one.